hey guys welcome to my channel thank you so much guys for stopping by thank you for choosing to watch my video today i pray that you guys are having a wonderful weekend so hello good morning good evening sa wa'an ni hao brevet konnichiwa yaboseo i greet you all in the name of jesus christ guys i I have a couple of things that I need to share with you all. And the first thing that the Lord is leading me to do is to give a prophetic word to a young mother. And you have a child. You at least have a child. And you're, you're mistreating this child. You're mistreating this child. You are pulling and handling. I even see you throwing this child because you're frustrated. You feel overwhelmed with the stress and everything that you are going through. I'm trying to tell you that God is giving you a warning. He's giving you a warning to cease. If you abuse that child one more time, you're going to kill the child. The usual tosses and throwing that you do to that child, you're going to kill the child. The father is going to take that child home and you're going to be behind bars. You're going to be behind bars. The Lord is saying to get on your knees and to repent. Stop allowing your pride to stop you from getting the help that you need. It's time for you to forgive the father of the child. You cannot blame the child for the situation that you are in. But God is saying he's faithful and just to forgive you and to help you. But God says his angels are seeing you. The angels of that child is seeing you, seeing what you are doing. It's a little boy. The angels of the Lord is seeing what you're doing. And God is saying he's going to take that baby home if you continue doing what you're doing. God has blessed your womb and there is purpose in that child. And the Lord needs you to come before him and to repent, to repent for your sins and allow him to help you and to trust him even when things are hard and not to look upon that child, to mistreat the child. Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus for this word. I pray, oh God, that it will reach the heart of this mother, this mother who is frustrated, this mother who is even unlearned in how it is to be a mother. I pray in the name of Jesus that your Holy Spirit will reach out to her right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, we come against the spirit of, of frustration. We come against the spirit of, of wickedness in the name of Jesus. We thank you right now that she's not looking at that child, that it's the problem and the child is hindering her. But Father, we pray against that deception from the enemy right now in the name of Jesus to cause her to think that the child is a problem. But Father, we pray that she look to you from whence comes her help. Her help comes from you, O God, who made the heavens and the earth. We thank you right now that we're bonding the strong man, that abusive spirit, that spirit of depression, because that's what it is, the spirit of anxiety, the spirit of low self-esteem. We come against it in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for making this mother whole right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you right now that you're permeating deep within her spirit right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We take out the spirit of rejection. We take out the spirit of suicide murder. We come against everything that is not of God. Every lie that she's been told that she's washed up and she's nothing. We bind it up right now. We pray, oh God, that your mighty wind will go through that place that she is in, oh God, and remove every demonic spirit, every spirit of oppression that's around her right now now in the name of Jesus. And Father, whatever she was never taught, oh God, we thank you that she will learn those things at your feet. We thank you for submission. We thank you for full submission right now in the name of Jesus. And we take out the seed of rejection out of this baby right now in the name of Jesus. The spirit of fear and anxiety within this child, with this mother, we come against it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you that your angels are round about this child, oh God, that, that seeds of rejection will not, will not permit 
permeate and take root in this child, that they will carry on, oh God, and have this feeling of rejection and therefore putting their hands to others to do them harm. Father, we give you the praise, we give you the glory, we give you the honor right now, oh God. Oh my God, my brothers and sisters, pray for this mother right now in the name of Jesus. Lift them up in prayer right now in the name of Jesus because this woman is surrounded by a spirit of darkness. Hallelujah, God. I thank you for delivering her right now. In the name of Jesus, it's done. Sister, get before the Lord before you get on the phone, before you want to email somebody. Get before God and pray. Your hour is now. Your time is now to get before the Lord and to repent, to repent, to repent. Let him take this thing out of you, sis, because God has shown me clear as day. The next time you try to toss that baby the next time you grab them too hard, you're going to kill them. God's going to take that soul home with him. Father, I thank you for this word. Oh God, hallelujah. I thank you for this word and I thank you for the change. In the name of Jesus. Brothers and sisters, I pray that you will, as where, wherever you are right now, just to raise up your voice in prayer for this mother. Oh, in the name of Jesus. You know, there's a lot of young mothers like this. And sometimes even you that you're married and you feel like you're handling everything by yourself, but you are not alone. You must become like a child before the Lord so that he can help you, so that he can help you. He can give you the peace that you need and help you and show you how to have things in order in your home and how to do things and how to prepare meals. We have a father that loves us. Sisters, children are a gift from God. Sometimes you wonder, why was this child born in these circumstances? For such a time as this, it could be. But there are no mistakes and there are no errors because there are healthy women who are doing everything and cannot have children. Seek the Lord. Don't take things out on that, child, that child or your children. You can have grown kids and you're still doing the stuff. You're still frustrated from mistakes. You're frustrated about your life and you're yelling and you're screaming at them. And you're saying hurtful things and God is holding you accountable. Because in the same breath you're saying hallelujah. You'll be a stumbling block. Ladies, allow the Lord to make the change in you. Turn to him in the name of Jesus. My brothers and sisters, pray for people. Don't let your prayer just be about you and your family. Pray for people all over the world. Pray for people all over the world. Their mothers sitting under the bridge trying to figure out what they're going to do. Their mothers sitting in cars trying to figure out what they're going to do. So we need to pray. We need to pray for people all over and in every circumstance. Lord, I thank you for this word right now. In the name of Jesus, we thank you right now. We thank you. We thank you for the outpouring of your spirit upon women, upon your people. We thank you right now, God. Awaken them. Open their eyes, oh God. Take the blinders off their eyes, Lord, that they will look to you from whence come their help. Father, they'll know that in you're the only rock and all other ground is sinking sand, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. I thank you. 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 That no weapon formed against them shall prosper. In Jesus' name. Amen. All right, guys. Be blessed.